In health news tonight, a disturbing new study about the chances of surviving cardiac arrest. As many as 310,000 Americans go into cardiac arrest every year. And researchers say those patients may live or die depending on where they live. Here's our medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. Sudden cardiac arrest is a code red. Without help within the first 10 minutes, most patients die. Now, a study finds you're five times more likely to die depending on something you'd expect to hear from your realtor, not your cardiologist. Location, location, location. Your chances of surviving cardiac arrest are dramatically different depending on where you live. Researchers looked at survival rates for cardiac arrest cases called into 911. Seattle, Iowa, and Portland were the best. About 16% of patients survived in Seattle and about 11% in Iowa and Portland. The worst? Dallas at fewer than 5% and Alabama at just 3%. With almost a 40% survival rate, Seattle was also five times better than Alabama when the patient suffered ventricular fibrillation, an irregular heartbeat treatable with an electric shock if it's given within minutes. With such a huge difference in survival rate depending upon where you live, people are going to have to start figuring out why that is, including perhaps differences in emergency medical services. The emergency medical system in our community can be very important in determining whether or not we live or die. One reason behind Seattle's success, an emphasis on CPR and defibrillator training, not only for emergency crews, but for the general public. If the whole country did as well, more than 13,000 lives could be saved every year. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.